High School Football Week 2. I am Josh Kirby as we are looking at another matchup as the James Wood Colonels set to host in their home opener, Brentsville District High School. Last week, the Colonels defeated Warren County by a score 21 to nothing. Now joining me, the head coach of the James Wood Colonels, Todd Wilson. And coach, looking at this game last week, it looked more of a defensive battle. And one man that stands out to mind is Vincent Salvati, whose name was mentioned many times in doing numerous different things for your Colonels team in the 21 to nothing victory over Warren County. Yeah, Vincent uh, played a good game for us. Uh, I think he had uh, 10 tackles for us, a uh, tackle for a loss, a TFL, um, one sack. Um, I think he had a forced fumble. Uh, he blocked a punt for us. Uh, he played really well. Uh, the other guy that really, really stood out for us too is on the, on the defensive line was uh, Jordan Sweetser. Uh, he, he had an outstanding game as well. He had uh, seven seven uh, tackles. Uh, he had uh, four sacks. He had uh, three fumble recoveries. Uh, so you know he he played well on the defensive side of the ball too. So just looking at this team, you said uh, uh, in our preseason interview that this is uh, a more inexperienced team with not a lot of varsity reps. A game like this, how how do you think the whole team collectively did um, in this matchup in your mind and uh, obviously getting a little bit more experience than week one, if you get what I mean? Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, You know, we got some of those first game jitters out of the way. Uh, we look we look back on it and, and, and can kind of comparing apples and oranges. But you know, from week one uh, a year before, we we had a lot more uh, penalties, uh, pre snap penalties. Pre snap penalties are just inexcusable stuff, like you know, just not focusing, uh, you know, false starts and misalignments and those type of things. Uh, we didn't have any of those on, on the offensive side of the ball. So as far as uh, you know, flags and those type of things, much much cleaner game. Uh, it was a whole team win. Um, you know, the offense did struggle a little bit. Uh, you know, we just weren't clicking uh, very well at all, and, and that, that that was a lot on a lot on us. We just weren't blocking things schematically up front very well. Uh, but we, you know, we did enough to to punch it in the end zone twice, uh, and then on the special team side of the thing, uh, you know, Aiden Bell did a phenomenal job of making you know a couple of nice kicks for us, uh, and then defensively, you know, I, I spoke on those guys there just a minute ago. Um, you know. Did an outstanding job. Uh, I can't I, off the top of my head. I think we only gave up uh, 116 total yards of offense. I believe what it was. So defensively, you know, did really well. Special teams on our defensive side. You know, we got a couple, couple blocked punts and uh, tackled the punter in the backfield one time with a bobbled snap. So, you know, it was a, a total team win. So you mentioned special teams um, as a coaching staff. How great is it to have confidence in a kicker to go out and boot a 37, 40 yard field goal in your mind? Because that's pretty impressive because you don't really see a lot of kickers in high school that can kick from that range. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we had confidence. You know, I, I told him after the game, um, you know, he, he, was, he was putting them through even further than that the day before in, in, in our walkthrough. So, you know, we have a lot of confidence in, in Aiden Bell. Uh, you know, he does his things. He he worked really hard in the off season to improve his, his kicking ability. Um, and it, it showed the other night. Uh, and, you know, he went out there. He, he did miss the first one. Oftentimes in high school football, once a kicker misses the first one, you know, the coaching staff usually don't have a whole lot of confidence to, to send him back out there again. Confidence in him didn't waver. Uh, he pushed it a little bit wide right uh, the first one. Had the leg to it. Uh, the next two, you know, it was pretty much from the, that same distance, and and he nailed those. Uh, so you know, we we got confidence in him, and we'll have confidence in him all year long to be able to make those kicks from that distance. So looking ahead to this Friday night hosting Brentsville District, who is coming off a shutout loss to the Sharanda Warriors, I would imagine they are hungry for a win. But looking at what Brentsville is doing uh, offensively, defensively, and what you have and what you're trying to improve on. Just what are your thoughts uh, coming into uh, Friday night's matchup? Uh, You know, 
Bristol's still a really good football team. Um, you know, I, I know, you know, they were shut out last week, um, but w- you know, w- what we see on film is they still have a lot of weapons and capabilities of, of scoring a lot of points. Um, you know, the running backs are really good. Quarterbacks a good athlete as well. Uh, we just need to do what, what kind of we do. Uh, schematically, you know, they haven't changed a ton over the last couple of years. They are. Uh, they, they lost a, lot a season ago. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we have as well. You know, we're, we're not returning a lot of players either. So I look forward to be a good matchup uh, with us and them. You know, the last couple of years they've, they've had our, our number and they've, uh, you know, beat us handedly. Uh, so we're expecting this year, hopefully, to to make that a much closer game, and hopefully at the end we come out on top. Once again, James Wood hosting Brentsville, part of We Two across our local area in high school football. As always, the head coach of the James Wood Colonels, Todd Wilson, joining me as he does each and every week. Coach, as always, really appreciate your time. Looking forward to catching up with you soon. Yeah, absolutely appreciate it.